Hey everybody, welcome back to some more Bannerlord. I only rambled for half an hour leading up to this, uh, so life is great and nobody in the chat hates me for it. Um, I have great news. Two bits of great news. So this game gets hotfixed every single morning, right? Which is super cool that the devs are that dedicated, but I guess it shouldn't surprise anyone because the devs were really dedicated back with the previous Mountain Blade games as well. Um, one, in a hotfix, uh, not today, but yesterday, they made it so that in arenas and, um, in the arena and in tournaments, you gain skill now. So, you know, you g if I if I get given a pole arm or something in the, in the arena, I can actually build pole arm skill. In fact, I checked my limit on all weapons. The only thing I'm at my limit on is one-handed. Uh, although I do gain a lot of these very slow, my limit is very low. And obviously I'm best at bows by an enormous margin. Um, but they made it so you can gain skill in that, which is super, super useful for a character like me who's a merchant trying to build his way up it kind of gives you a safe opportunity to start building some of the skills as well as just practicing getting better in the fights but the other bit of good news there's a tournament in town we're starting this stream with a tournament can we get our third tournament win in a row let's see okay so we have no armor on is there any really cheap passable armor we can just buy in town before we enter the tournament because as much as I love our merchant robes, we seriously need something better. Also, they haven't fixed the glitch yet where my my male coif, who has a picture of a horse right now, that's weird, uh, is currently ripping my beard off. Also, let me know if the game is too loud because I upped the volume. So you guys just let me know. So, uh, if I take that off, you can see I have beautiful hair and a beard and look a little Jesus-y, actually. So what can we get in terms of armor here? Is there any chest armor I want that isn't going to break the bank? Because I really can't afford to buy too much, you know? It's a little body, a little bit of arm, having some shoulder pads. And shoulder pads do look pretty cool, as does a cape. Although that cape is not worth that price. So right now my tunic is 312. That's, that's terrible. That's just civilian clothes. It says body armor, but it really isn't. Okay, that's a little bit of padded armor for the chest. It's a big upgrade for a low price. It's a maybe. Um, you're just you're just tucking your beard in like your hair. Ah, I'm like tucking it into my skin. Gotcha. <laughs> Get some 80 shoulder pads. It's a giant ass fucking horseshoe on your head. Yes. Okay, mm. I don't want to break the bank, but this one's a little bit of leg armor. This one's a little bit of chest armor. It's just a leather tunic. I'm surprised it's worth so much. But you know what? This is a subs it's crap, but it's a substantial upgrade. Oh, it makes us look so fat, doesn't it? Somehow we look fatter now. Again, we definitely don't need the old robe. We're selling that to make a little money back. Um, these mittens. Uh, you know what? I'll I'll cheap out and just get some bracers because we don't have any bracers yet. That's a lot of arm armor, and our arms are something likely to get hit when we're like lancing with people and stuff, you know? Uh, so we have nothing in the cloak slot, which is like a shoulder slot. You can get shoulder pads or a cape. I do find capes can be a little hard when you're fighting on horseback though, because they block your vision a little in third person. So maybe we'll just get some, you know what? I don't want to pay more than 900. Yeah, I think we'll just buy this. We look a little bit more like a bandit like this than a merchant, but look, we, we need the armor. We had no armor either than head armor, realistically, and our boots give us a little leg armor. A lot of, um, a lot of the prices of gear went up, you think? I think so, too. Did they, uh, did they fix the price of crossbows, though? Because crossbows are super fucking expensive. Uh, right. Our shield and ranged. Crossbow is still, like, 21, 22,000. Okay. That's still really expensive, and I get that it would be a little more expensive because it was new technology in kind of the era they're aiming for. But if you start with only crossbow skill, man, you get fucked because you don't start with a crossbow and you'll never get a fucking crossbow in the early game. Uh, the reason why you look chubby is because they added layers of leather and clothing on you. Uh, that's a fair point. Just uh, joined how long is streaming going? Uh, over half an hour. However, we've only really just started playing. Okay, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the tournament. Okay, 
Let's see. We've done two tournaments so far. We're two for two, even though we're a merchant. We are undefeated so far in tournament action. Let's see if we can do this. So I'm not going to watch every one of the beginning rounds. So we're in round two here. So the the reward is what looks to be a high quality helmet. I wouldn't mind that. Head armor is pretty important, you know? Okay, so this round is a four person free for all. We got a fatal four way here. Imperial Recruit is basically a peasant and infantryman, not that high quality either. Gutreg Frostbeard is my scout and companion though, so he's a little tough. Maybe I want to hang back a little, let them fight, and I pick up the scraps. That's a nice ass helmet. I know, right? It looks pretty good. Okay. Oh god, I got one handed? I was hoping for a bow. Uh, so that's the infantryman coming at me, okay. I don't want to be near that wall. Whoa! Whoa, I hit him so hard his body disappeared for a second. Yeah, come at me. I'm... Oh, it feels good, doesn't it? Just... Didn't think it was going to be that easy. Oh, if friend the healer, right? She's uh, one of the people who is traveling here, but I don't want to hire her. We need a healer, but we don't want her because she's deceitful. Okay. So we got some tough guys here. Gutreg is still in here because he lasted long in the previous one. Heavy uh, horsemen and I don't actually know how to pronounce that, but I believe that's a that's a Latin word. And I know what it generally means of a light cav. So we got light cavalry, heavy cavalry, and Gutreg Frostbeard, who is just a solid archer. Okay. I got the sword and the shield again. I don't, I, w I really want to start with a bow because that's where our skill is. I also wouldn't mind starting with a two-handed axe, to be honest. A two-handed axe in a tournament is real nice. Gutreg is totally going to win. Oh no, he went down. Okay. Okay. I think I know how I want to do this. Yep. Just, ah, I got greedy. I got greedy. I shouldn't have gone, gone for that shield bash. Okay, athletic skills going up, which is cool. Although our athletic skills terrible. You know what? I'm curious as to who my opponents are going to be. So the last two guys remaining in this will be my opponents. Let's scout them. I'm going to guess it's going to be the legionary and the veteran infantrymen. Yep, I was right. Blue went down. So these two are going to be my opponents. Which are the two toughest guys, so that's not fun. Mm. Is there heroes that do nothing but tournaments? I don't think so. Nerf MDB. Man, they're having a long fight. That was dodgy. I feel like that... He must have had, like, no speed bonus on one of those swings, because it just bounced off him. Okay, me and a heavy horseman versus a legionary and veteran infantryman. Considering it doesn't seem like anyone starts with a horse in tournaments in this area, I feel like they have a distinct advantage over us. I'm hoping for a bow. Hell yeah! A longbow! Oh! Oh! I think I might have headshot my own guy there. That or it swung right past and got uh, his dude. Come on. Fuck er. I gained a level though. I don't like this. Ah, uh, blocked the wrong way too. I gotta get used to that. I'm down. All right, that's my first tournament loss. We got to see who wins, though, right? It's got to be the veteran infantry. Oh, no, the legionary's probably better. Uh, I actually don't know. His sword doesn't look as good. Oh, fucking not a strong start for the legionary. Man, I was doing okay, but the worst part is their archer was probably one hit from death. If I just got a couple more shots, that was a close fight. You can parry with a knife now? Yeah, it was a short sword. I can parry with that, but there's no automatic block in the correct direction in this game, and we're playing on realistic difficulty, which is the hardest mode. So we are playing on essentially hard mode. Okay. Yeah, the Legionnaire, uh, the Legionnaire did win. 
Good on him. Okay, we gained a little bit of skill. Yeah, eliminated around three. We made it to semifinals. All right. The luck couldn't go on forever. I think they're adding auto block back in. I'm not going to turn it on. I want to get as good at the game as I possibly can. And part of that is not using auto block. Okay. What I will do, though, actually, is a couple round of practice fight. I wouldn't mind building up a little bit of skill. So what did I get here? Throwing. I can get a little skill net. Oh, right. And I did. I got a level up, too. I need to use that. And a spear. That's a polearm. Good. We need polearm skill. Okay. I'd much rather have a long bow right now. Whoa, whoa. What? What went past me there? I didn't even see. That javelin. I'm grabbing that. <laughs> I, I didn't just put it in my back bag. I, I put it with all the others. Or I put it next to them on another one. Ooh, that does not have the range I thought it would. Okay, I've never used a throwing weapon since moving to Bannerlord. So. Whoa! Thanks for the uh, resupply. Okay. Whoa, whoa! -ho! That didn't work out. Nope, nope. Come on. There's someone right behind me. I'm not liking this. You kill stealing punk. I get paid based on those kills. Yes, get distance between me and you when I have the longer weapon. What were you thinking? <laughs> hey, hey, backstabber. You want to get him? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, keep blocking high. All right. He just kept blocking high for some reason. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That guy, okay. God, they're being fucking aggressive today. Oh. That was risky. I I, <laughs> I probably should have uh, pulled out of that attack there. I shouldn't have committed to that one. Nope. When you're swinging around with a spear, because it's always a stab, you gotta be very careful with your left to right mouse movement. Wow, he is really nasty at this range. He's got much higher athletics than me. He really kept on me. Did he drop a bow? No. I was really hoping he would drop a bow. Back off, back off. There we go. Oh! Oh, I got an ass shot. Damn. Okay, I did okay. Uh, I didn't- yeah, I only took down two people, because you get paid based on kills for that. Just whoever gets the last hit. But I gained a little bit of skill points, I guess. I, I gained a point of pull arm. Ugh. Between the cheeks. It was actually left cheek, I think. Okay, we gained a, a focus point, though, and I maybe pull arm. Um, pull arm, I wouldn't mind stewardship, because we are building that up. Uh, hmm. Talk about being butt hurt, yeah. Uh, damn, I don't know what I want to take. Probably pole arm. Uh, let's just... Can't check inventory right now, really? Okay. Okay, um, hmm. I do still have early retirement, which is a nice sword. I don't know if I ever want to... Do I want to invest in polearm right now? Because I do quite like polearms. Stewardship levels up really fast once you get some towns. Yeah, I'm not anywhere near that, though. I'm getting it fairly quick just as the quartermaster, and I'll need it the whole game. And plus, whatever you're getting skill points in fastest is helping you level up the fastest and thus get you other focus points. So often you want to just invest your focus points in whatever's going to level you up fastest, you know? Hmm. It never hurts to do more trade because we're going to be trading the whole game and we want that as fast as possible. So that is simply never a bad choice. However, hmm. it's worth noting that all the shield skills are in one hand, it says Retro. 
you know what? That's that's good to point out. Thank you. I didn't know that. Because no matter what, I'm probably going to be using a shield. Yeah, no matter what, I'll probably be using a shield. I will put a point in one-handed. Thanks for that info. That really helped me make an educated decision there. Oh, I'm just being given just a sword, eh? Just a one-handed sword. This doesn't feel fair. No shield to go with my one-handed sword. I mean, I appreciate I got a weapon that's gonna... Don't you fucking try it. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna just circle you, punk. Oh yeah, this is fair. You got a shield. <sighs> ah. Hmm. <laughs> you like the opposite of what I was thinking? I mean, I have a drawn picture of me at the beginning of all of my YouTube videos. But I'm happy you like how I look, I guess. It's the best I can hope for. <laughs> I really, really, really want a bow. My my archery rate is really good. It's just bows seem to rarely spawn on uh, in this culture. What's the bow focused one? It was the uh, the the Celts kind of people, right? In the west, but not the far west. I should go over there. Oh my god, that was like an inch from going right past the shield into my head. Oh my god, did you see where that first javelin landed? Wow! Okay. An Imperial Spear. I actually wouldn't... Mo can I combo that with a shield? Hell yeah, I can. That's tempting. You kill-stealing punk. I see what you're going for back there. I'm gonna kill this guy. Yeah, yeah, that's what you get. Don't try and steal my kill, you punk. I got both of you down. Take it. Wow, he's still standing. Who is this guy? Imperial Crossbowman's got some health on him. There, I got him with a punch to the face. He's in T pose. <laughs> that does that guy have a bow? I'm not sure. That guy over there has a bow. I want it. Who's around the corner? Hey, Archer, you want to shoot this guy in the back for me? Okay, I'm getting that fucking bow off that body. You are not keeping me from my bow! Whoa! Oh, yeah, back off. Back it off. I need some distance. I just narrowly avoided some kind of projectile during that. Ah. Something got me in the back. Pierce damage to the head? I think someone got me in the back of the head with a javelin at the end. <laughs> I looked at the game and I see a lot of Viking conquest in it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. They took a lot from the mods and stuff and really learned from it. The NPCs pick up weapons? I'm actually not sure. They didn't in the old games, but they might now. Steal the bow? Yeah. Okay, I think I'm going to finish up with the tournament here, with the, or the arena here. I gained a few points. It was nice. It was definitely fun. I'm sure you guys appreciated the, uh, the action. But, uh, I should be going doing a tournaments in an area that is a little bit more archer-friendly, because we are predominantly, in terms of combat, an archer. But getting a little bit of one-handed skill is not a bad idea. It's so tilting getting shot from behind in practice arena. Yeah. I will say practice arena is much easier in this game than it was in old Mountain Blades. I won my first ever practice arena, I did, in Bannerlord, and I've never won it before in Old Mountain Blades. The archer can actually pick up arrows close to him. That's really cool. I'm happy that they made the AI be able to do that. Just makes sense, you know? 
Sprench's weapon seems like they do a lot of long-term damage. I know, right? It says like blunt damage in the bottom left, but you're getting like javelins in the head and you're bleeding all over. And yet magically I'm like almost full health in the bottom right. The practice arena is a little suspect, but I do love that it's in the game. Okay, we actually need to head out west to make progress. And I also need to just make some money. So what's what's the next town to the west? Uh, Sinopa. Sinopa. What can we get that sells well in Sinopa? What's the, what's the best thing you're selling at a good price? Cotton? You're selling one cotton. I'm not doing that. Nothing? You're not selling anything at a good price. This place sucks. I'm leaving. Hold on. Do I have any ed energy for the smithy? I do. Okay, we're smelting and then we're leaving. Okay, no, I don't have any charcoal. And they're not selling hardwood at a good price, so we're leaving. Uh, I had a lot of Viking Conquest wins. The larger and sometimes more open areas really help. I agree. Our larger arenas are definitely easier to win in. And I think that's part of why it's easier in Bannerlord to win those, is because there's a lot larger arenas available. Uh, and yes, yeah, settlement defense, you can resupply arrows on the wall. Cool. Okay. What have they got? Oh, there's a little tugging on my, uh, mouse cord there. I might need to look into that. Uh, I saw that oil was a good... It's not really that good a price, though. 95? Now that's a good price for cotton. That is a pretty good price for cotton. If we're buying it at 58 a piece. We could shop that around. Mmm. Beer is a decent price as well. Butter. Sure. Not a huge increase. So the next place out west, if I hit leave, I want to get up here, which is fairly far away, but not super far. I guess my next place out west is Rote. I think it's how you pronounce that. Um, do I know if this sells well in Rote? What was it? It was wool? No, it was cotton. I don't know if it sells well there, but if we can sell for better than 58, it's worth it. So we'll find somewhere that we can sell cotton for 58 or more. Or more than 58, rather. I was questioning whether or not my purchase would be worth it, but it's telling me that uh, EA is going... Oh, yeah, yeah. I highly recommend this game. I have no worries whatsoever about it not getting developed. This is this is Bannerlord. This has been anticipated for like a, over a decade now for a reason. It's made by a very good company who has a very good track record of knowing exactly what their fans want because they are very in touch with their community. Already big profit off the cotton. There we go. Not massive, but you know. Get what we can. We got a few hundred profit out of it. Uh, Sionen? Don't know if that's how you pronounce that. Usually has really cheap hardwood. Good to know. I know hardwood is usually cheaper out west. Like, okay, 32 here. That's not a great price, but... What does this place sell for a good price? Mm, there's a lot of bad prices here. There's more of a place you'd sell to rather than buy from by the looks of it. Wine. They don't have much quantity of wine, though. Yeah, nothing here is a great price on... Oh, I could sell some pack camels for good money, though, because I bought a lot of these pack camels for like 20 bucks a piece. Yeah, I'll sell them a handful of camels. That's actually a really good price. There we go. I just like doubled the money that I spent on the camels just by selling a third of them. Is this a city building game with progression to higher tier citizens? Nope. Uh, you can own cities. This is a do whatever you want game. You can be a merchant. You can make a kingdom. You can become a mercenary for a kingdom. You can, uh, you can work your way up as a vassal in a kingdom. You can get married. You can have kids. You can start a business enterprise with workshops. You can start a, a caravan empire. You can, you can do a lot of things. And they're really, really well fleshed out. That's the crazy part. If I want to, I could just take a walk around town and every single city in that massive map you saw has its own layout and its own people. 
What do you plan on doing? Ah, just fucking everything. Having fun. I can just walk into town. And like, look, I can hold this button and I can see all these different businesses that I can go to. My health is good. I could go pick a fight if I want. I could go like to a dockyard or something. There's a waterfront down there. Maybe I'll go to the waterfront, pick a fight. Yeah, you can build up cities a bit. It's not a city builder though. You know, like a city builder is um, a logistics game. You know, you're, you're building your things and you need to satisfy your people and you need to make goods and get the goods to an area. And logistics is a big component of that. Unlike a game where you build a city, but it's not a city builder, like uh, Sid Meier Civilization. You know, you can, uh, Backstreet, let's go that way. You can build a library, but you know, it's, library creates science and you don't need to transport the science to a location, you know, like logistics is not a mechanic. Hmm. Bad street, Atlanta, GA. Baddest street in the whole USA. Just having a look, do you mind? They're probably gonna rob me if I get the shit beaten out of me here. She's like the queen here, if you have, uh, clear out. Hmm. Hmm, what goes on here? We look after the honest folk here. Make sure no one smashes up their shops. Okay, so this is the local mob. Okay. Okay, and they're also smugglers. Take orders from Pretty Etheria. Now get lost. Mm, what if I don't want to get lost, though? Can I take a four on two? I'm not wearing armor. You can befriend the gang leaders in town, that's true. And that's pretty cool in its own way. You could become you can become a slaver and a and a rogue. There's a whole skill for roguery. Right here, roguery. I just don't have any skill points in it. Yeah, become a smuggler, medieval mafia. Uh I'm gonna pick a suicidal fight. Do you mind? Uh I don't take orders from the likes of you. Oh, oh, I'm gonna get the shit beaten out of me here, aren't I? Ah, I shouldn't have done it. <laughs> it was fun, though. Alright, am I kidnapped? What's what's gonna happen for failing that? Slip into consciousness. After a little while, I wake up, confused a little bit, uh, but without serious injury, you should resolve more carefully next time. Wow, I didn't get robbed? Okay. I'll rest and heal a little. You gotta appoint in a rogue for selling prisoners. That is true. It was worth trying. It was fun. We'll just wait here for a little bit. It's not a big deal. It's just two of us. When I have more, um, wh whenever I get more companions, maybe I'll pick a fight with them again. You know, have a little bit more backup. Interesting that her relation with me isn't below zero or something just because of, uh, you know, <laughs> me picking a fight with our goons and I think we took one out. I think we killed a guy. Yeah, my, uh, my backup there really shat the bed, didn't he? How's it going? I'm doing okay. How's it going for you? Uh, let's... Let's do things. I want to make some money, and that's just not happening in this town. This town's got terrible trade goods. We're heading west. I don't really want to pick a fight with those mountain bandits. I'm but a simple merchant. Right, for now. For now, I'm a simple merchant. Oh, hey! Peasant by another person who can help us with the plot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. He is the smuggest looking man I've ever seen in my life. Tell me about the Battle of Penderic. Or Pendrake. Pendrake? Not sure. Who would they say or anything to tarnish his shine? His great victory? He fucking died. Disappeared while hunting, yeah. When Kaladog becomes king, he leads the tribes to war. The Sturgeons, uh, was that the people in the far west? I'm trying to remember all the different names of the tribes in this game, since I'm pretty new to, you know, Bannerlord just came out, so. 
and it's not all the same teams as in Warband. Um, they made those countries later. Like, this is earlier in history when there were different names and stuff. So. A simple merchant is easy to rob, but that is true. When will you be doing Absolution? I'm not sure, but we are doing it at some point. Sturgeons of the Viking people? Gotcha. Are the Vlandians the people who became the... Vigars, I believe it was. The, the the Russians. Look, everybody knows in Warband that every single one of the countries is just based off another country. There's Italy, France, England, kind of Turkey, um, kind of Huns, kind of Mongolia, and then, uh, did I already say Italy? Russia. There you go. Okay. And leave. We've talked to three of them. We've talked to three of the nobles who have info. Okay. I don't want to get near those looters. I'll fight these guys, because it's just two of them. Who is Swadia? The Roman Empire too? The Roman Empire is in this game. The Romans weren't in Warband. Warband had Italy. And that's not exactly the same thing. It had a, a, a place based off an Italian principality. Uh, who is Swadia? They were kind of England, France. They were kind of a hybrid. It was your general heavy cav, kind of archery, kind of woodland thing. It's your generic Western Europe team. I'm happy you like the Hitman Let's Plays. I, I agree, it is some of the funnier stuff we've done, so I'm happy you guys have been liking that. And thank you so much for watching all the Pokemon Stadium stuff, because it's, um... The Pokemon Stadium stuff is literally the most successful Let's Play I've done on release in the entire nearly 10 year history of me doing a video a day on YouTube. So I'm happy that you guys like that. I hope that a lot of people watch that and then go off to watch other Let's Plays. I hope it ends up being the gateway drug into my terrible YouTube show. Kill them all! I'm gonna tell uh, Frostbeard to attack because I know he's just gonna circle, circle strafe them anyway. That was a whiff. All right, I gotta kill these guys throwing rocks. And it's also really dark in a forest, so it's kind of hard to see. There we go. I still have very little horse archery skill, so you can see the reticles pretty bad. I'm more of a foot archer right now. Not happening. Come on. Ah, uh, this difference in elevation is really messing with me. There we go. That was a lucky headshot. Nope. This always goes a little higher than I think it's going to. Wow, I can't believe I landed that shot while he was moving perpendicular to me. That's not easy. It's easy to hit a target running at you. Usually. Ugh. This is awful. <laughs> I am whiffing like you wouldn't believe. Seriously, I swear when I'm off stream, I don't do this bad on archery. Alright, I'm cleaving a fucker two-handed. Whoa! Oh, I swung high. Okay, gotta go a little lower. Ah, the elevation difference. Come on. God, I... My dude just can't aim down, can he? He just fucking aims like... What killed him? I didn't swing. Did that guy just hit me so hard he broke his arm and died? What happened? That was weird. Yeah, I find that uh, swinging by your side with a sword on horseback is not nearly as easy as it was in the previous games. You gotta look down. Okay. Okay. Because I do the direction, you, you lock in your direction ahead of time, but it, it looks like it is still angled towards in some way where you're looking, which is an interesting idea because then you could side swipe f and have one built for hitting guys on the ground and then another one built for hitting people on a horse. Although you generally want a spear for that, but you know. Um, I'm not going to take any prisoners or hire any of these peasants, even though I could get them really cheap. I still just want the sheer speed right now. Okay, here we go. This is some good loot. We have some food, so we can get some food variety. I'm not going to sell any of those. I just want food variety. Uh, pack camel, always good. 
Yeah, and then we have some trade goods and stuff. Okay. We'll make a little money. We'll sell it to town. We're good. There we go. Good price for the wool. And the sheep is a fine price, considering we didn't pay for it. I will say the horse archery is definitely harder in Bannerlord than it was in the old games. But I'm sure it'll get a lot more manageable as you build up your riding skill and your bow skill. Because, you know, once you get farther on, you can get stuff like, um... There's... Th Mounted Archer, here we go. You can use any bow from horseback. Um, I think riding might have most of the horseback archery skills, actually. Spare arrows. More arrows if you start on horseback. And then down here... You could, you could also do, uh, starting with different, uh, starting with more throwing weapons. Sharpshooter, squires. Here we go. Mounted archer. Less of a penalty for ranged weapons on horseback. Because if you're moving while you shoot, that's a big penalty. And it's even bigger if you're on horseback. Will creep pass does ever return? If I ever feel like it. Reload any crossbow while on horseback. It's kind of cool. Bow expert. Use any bow on horse. Yeah. Horse is becoming lame when wounded in battle. Chance to reduce by 50%. That's good. Wow, that's pretty good. Increases party speed bonus to your mounted troops by 30%. No wonder that's the end of the road skill. That's strong. Yeah, crossbows are super expensive in this. They're not super reliable. Like, they're good, but... Um, it's hard to get one early game, so you really do need a weapon skill that isn't just crossbow if you want to make it through early game reasonably well. Steal a crossbow? Nah. If I get it from a loot, from like looting, I, then I'll use it. Um. Oh, hey, there's a tournament. We're really hurt, but I don't want the tournament to be over, so we'll join the tournament while wounded. The winner gets a cool ass horse. Okay. I'm against Maximin, Maximin, a heavy calf, and a sergeant crossbow. Okay, so we're first round against a bunch of really difficult people, and we're really hurt. Okay, this is great. Who am I teaming with? Maxim Ma Maximin, who better be good. Die, you bastard. I'm just gonna ch keep sh cheap shotting that guy. He's got some crazy ass armor. Instantly went down. Yeah, that's. I could only take, like, a hit or two. And he's doomed, right? Oh, well, he took one out. Is my team gonna win? Block, you asshole. What are you doing? You're fighting so recklessly. They're both just going Rochambeau. What are they doing? <laughs> Fucking idiot. Uh. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not in, so... Oh, cool. Max Min will won. He got to proceed, but I didn't. Ugh. That sucks. But what do you expect? We had almost no health going in.